Okay, hi everyone. Uh, today I'm going to show you about the VPN remote access on the Cisco ASA with the Cisco Nginx uh, by the GUI. Okay, today we configure VPN remote access by the Wizard graphic user interface and uh, Cisco Nginx and uh, uh, Cisco ASDM. Okay, before I'm show you only about the VPN remote, remote access on the Cisco ASA, but we configure by the command line. Okay, today uh, we configure VPN by the GUI graphic user interface. Okay, and then we go to the uh, Gina 3. Okay, this is the lab or topology that we have to configure VPN remote access. Okay, before we configure remote access VPN by the GUI, um, so um, explain about the, the, this diagram. Okay, that you see, this is a side from the office and this is a side from the home. Okay, and then we have to install the VPN client Cisco and Ignite on the Windows XP client 3. Okay. Okay, this is the Windows XP client 1 that I'm connect to the suite and switch connect to the Cisco ASA. Okay. Okay, before you configure VPN remote asset, you have to configure internet access or not already on the Cisco ASA so user can access to the internet okay okay let's go to configure Cisco ASA okay and I'm, I'm going to the Windows VLAN 1 okay Windows VLAN 1 okay and then I'm going to the Cisco ASDM and log into the Cisco ASA by the Graphic user interface. Okay, so I'm not yet to the create the username and the password. Okay, I'm go to the command line and create username. Okay, I'm put the admin and uh, password. Admin also ping me. Okay. Okay, this is the uh, interface for the Cisco ASDM. Okay, Cisco ASDM for the uh, Cisco ASA. Okay, there you see. Okay, this is the host name Cisco ASA ASA version. Okay, ASDM version. Okay. Okay, this is the device model. Okay, this is the interface for the inside and outside. Okay, for the outside, this IP address is mean the public IP. Okay, this is the uh, IP local. Okay, and then we go to the configure with and remote access. I'm going to the visa. Okay, and with and visa. Okay, and then I'm uh, choose uh, any connect visa before we configure with and remote access. And for the with and plan, we use the Cisco and connect. Okay, and then I'm click next. Okay, for the connection profile, you have to put the name of the connection profile. Okay, for me, I'm example, I'm put the BBM. Okay, for this one, I'm choose on the ASL. Okay, next. Okay, for the certificate, we not yet to configure. Okay, because this is a lab testing, um, uh, not to show you about the device certificate. Okay, so the this step you have to skip. Okay, and then I'm go to next. Okay, for this one, you have to add uh, a mic for the Cisco and internet. Okay. For this one, I'm to upload. Okay, and local part, I'm part, I'm find the file of the Cisco and Ignite. Okay, I'm already to prepare. Okay, this, this is a file of the Cisco and Ignite P uh, dot PKG. Okay, 
this file I'm already to rename because uh, the original uh, original file is so long and uh, rename to the short name easy to remember. So when you download you you can find the Cisco and you connect all the version with version for the window, Mac and Linux also. Okay, for this version I'm choose for the window. I'm select this one and upload. Okay, the file uh, is transferred into the Cisco ASA. Okay, so you can wait while ASDM is uploading the file. Okay, maybe it's a few minutes. Okay, the file has been uploaded to the plus successfully. Okay, I'm click OK. Okay. Okay, and then I'm choose next. Okay, for this one, uh, you can create the new the username and the password. Okay, but before I'm create already for the admin password admin, so I'm no need to create again. Okay, for you, you can choose and create the new the password and username and the password is up to you okay and then i'm create already for the admin okay i'm choose next okay for this one you have to create the ip pool for the assign ip address to the vpn client okay i'm choose next okay i'm put the name of the vpn pool is not all VPN pool. okay for the ip address for the vpn pool is not Okay, and then subnet mask last 24. Okay. Okay, and next. Okay, for this one, you have to put the DNS server example onto the Google DNS. Okay, and this one. Okay, because I'm um, created the NAT already. Okay, you can traffic from the NAT address. Okay, next. Okay, so you can read already for the VPN configuration okay and then um, go to the uh, window HP cloud and 3 for testing ping okay ping from the uh, my connection uh, VPN uh, Cisco and Ignite and try to ping to the local machine at the office side okay I'm go to the window HP cloud and 3 Okay, before I um, make the connection, I'm um, testing P. It's working or not. Okay. Okay. That you see. Okay, I'm, point, I'm ping from my home side. Okay, this is my home side. Okay, 
then I'm came to the local sign at office. Okay, so we cannot ping. So the connection is lost or it will come out because we not get uh, the connection we ban. Okay, and then I'm okay. This is the Cisco any connect that I'm already to install. Okay, Cisco any connect. Okay, so if you not get to the install, you can access or download this software from the browser. You can open the browser and type the public IP uh, uh, from the Cisco ASA. Okay, if you not get to install, you have to do like this type the public IP, the Cisco ASA, and then you confirm security. Okay, so you have to log in the username and the password. Okay, so you can download. Okay, automatically to download for you. Okay, okay, you can click on continue. So you can download the Cisco and Ignite Secure Mobility Client and installation. Okay, for me, I'm already to download, so I'm no need to download again. Okay, for you, if you not get to install, you can uh, go to the public IP and type the username and password you can log in and install this in automatically okay for this one I'm no need to install again I'm close this one okay I'm just uh, open the Cisco and Ignite and type the public IP okay yes connect anywhere Okay, and for this one, I'm tired of username and password. 